now we're going to use one of our most popular data types in Python, and that is called a list. And a list contains other objects. So it kind of is like a container for other objects. Um, it gives us the ability to bundle objects together so we can easily use them in our program. So lists are one of our most widely used data types. Um, lists are a sequence just like strings, so they have an index position from left to right. Um, and they're mutable. Now, when we talked about strings, they were immutable, which meant we can't change them. But with lists, since they're mutable, we can change them, we can add to them, and we can delete from them. So it gives us the ability to manipulate the list and what it contains, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just create a list so we can see how to create a list. So I'm going to create a variable var. I'm going to set it uh, assignment operator to assign var to represent the list. Alright, so to create a list we use square brackets and inside that list we're going to put a couple animals. We're going to do dog and we're going to do cat. Oops, that was a string. Cat and we're going to do rabbit. Alright, so here we got a list. <coughs> so dog is an object itself, cat's an object itself, rabbit's an object itself, and the list is an object itself. So we got a total of four objects. So I'm going to draw you a little picture. Let you know how good I'm at this. Alright, so we got a square. Inside our square, this is our whole list by the way. Inside our square we got ID. We got um, the value which is what our list contains. So in this case it contains um, three other objects. So however Python uh, looks at those three objects and looks as it add it as a value that's how it references it <clears throat> it has the type information which is a list so it's a list has a reference counter how many times is it referenced in our case right now it's referenced one time so one and then down here was the optional one that we talked about uh, when we're talking about uh, objects and in here is the reference, the reference to other objects. So in our case, it references dog, it references cat, and it references rabbit. So we got it referencing three other objects, and that's how it contains it. It doesn't actually contain the dog, the cat, the rabbit, because these are all separate objects themselves, all right? But it's one overall object. So basically what it does is it just points to other objects, when we call this list, then it pulls those objects into the list. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clear that. Now let's um, practice, or let's take a look at how we can add stuff to them and delete some stuff from them. Or actually, before that, let's just review how to remove certain information from a list. It's just like we did with strings. So we'll do a var, and then we're going to slice so square bracket zero square bracket oh dog var square bracket one square bracket we get cat we get var square bracket two square bracket we got rabbit all right so that's how we slice that's how we pull out each object on its own uh we can go backwards like we did with strings as well negative one gives us rabbit all right that's pretty cool now the cool part about lists is that we they're mutable, so we can actually go ahead and change the information in a list. So let's take a look at that. We want to add um, turtle to our list. So how would we do that? We do var dot append, and this is a built-in function, and we just put our string in here. Right. Click spell turtle, and then close out our parentheses and hit return. Now if we call var, we're going to see that turtle is added to the end. So it just appends it to the end. So if we wanted to append something else, so we do var dot append, uh, let's do cow, we can add it to the end. And we call var again, oh, there we go. Now our list is growing, so it shows it's mutable. Now, how about if we want to remove something? Let's go ahead and remove cat, all right? So we do var dot pop, and then from its 
um, index position, we have to we can remove it. So what's the index position of cat? Let's count. Zero, one. All right, zero, one. So we need to put one. We'll close out our parentheses. Hit return. We got cat. Pretty cool, right? Um, let's see. Let's remove one more. Let's remove turtle. First, let's call it so we can see where turtle's at. We got zero, one, two. So we need to pop the, uh, this number two index. So we do var dot pop. Oops, and two. Moves turtle. So now we call our list and we got dog, rabbit, cow. All right, cool. Now I don't want um, cow in there. I want something else. I want to put fish. So let's go ahead and change cow to something else. So we'll do um, var and then we're going to slice. All right. So where's cow? Let's count. Zero, one, two. All right. Two square brackets. And then we're going to use our trusty assignment operator, the equal sign, and we're going to add a string. What are we going to add? We're going to add fish. So fish. All right. Hit return. And now let's call var. Now we see we got dog, rabbit, fish. Pretty cool, right? So lists are very mutable. They're very flexible, and they give us the ability to do a lot of things with them. So um, with them having the ability to contain other objects, it, it gives us a lot of flexibility in our code. It allows us to like iterate through them so we can use each object in our code or we can um, store them kind of like a, a database type thing. We can store objects in there for later use. So, you know, lists are very useful. Um, we're going to go through lists more in depth in their own section because there's a lot to list, a lot of things you can do with lists. So we'll talk about them more in the future. If you have any questions, leave a comment on our form. If not, we'll see you in the next one where we talk about dictionaries. See you then.